My name is Dr. Salil Jain. I am a director and head of the department of nephrology and kidney transplant at Fortis Memorial Research Institute at Gurgaon in India. I am basically a kidney specialist and deal with kidney diseases of all kinds. And we do kidney transplants, dialysis, biopsies, and treatment of all kidney disease especially patients who have protein loss in the urine also. All over the world, we have been seeing that there is, has been an increase in the number of kidney disease and it is called that kidney disease epidemic is here now. And this we are seeing because the number of diabetes and blood pressure patients are increasing. And once these diabetes and blood pressure uh, patients, if they do not take treatment properly, then we are seeing the complications of kidney disease. To avoid getting kidney disease, we should check our blood pressure regularly and make sure that the blood pressure is not more than 130 by 90. Or even better, if 120 by 80. The sugar patients, they should check their HbA1c, what we call as glycosylated hemoglobin, which gives an average of 3 months of blood sugar. It should be less than 7% or a fasting blood sugar of less than 90 or a post lunch sugar of less than 140. If we make sure of these two things, there are very good chances that you will avoid having a kidney disease. Apart from these two, there are other things that can cause kidney damages like urine infections, stones, nephritis and some medications especially painkillers. We should not buy painkillers over the counter and should consult our doctors that are these painkillers safe for the kidney or not and try to find out why the pain is there in the bones or even patients taking painkillers for headache so it could be because of the high blood pressure so we should get ourselves checked by the physician that we are requiring so much of painkillers so what is the reason for it and try to solve that rather than taking this painkillers these painkillers can be very harmful and we have seen a lot of patients who are coming with uh, history of taking painkillers for years and ending up with dialysis and requiring kidney transplant so my sincere request is that avoid taking painkillers. Other group of patients who have stones and urine infections, I would suggest that these patients should drink a lot of water. If they do not have any heart issues, then they should drink at least 2 to 2.5 liters of water or liquids every day. They should avoid taking extra salt in their diets or probably reduce the intake of salt this will save them from having urine infections and forming new stones. And if they have formed a stone, they should get this stone analyzed and a dietary advice regarding the stone should be taken. So these are all avoidable things like painkillers, stones, urine tract infections, good control of diabetes and blood pressure, which can be uh, looked after and we can avoid ending up with dialysis. But there are few conditions what we call as immune diseases which are called which can cause the kidney damage where we which we call them as nephritis or nephrotic syndromes where you start passing a lot of protein in the urine such patients are unfortunate and usually require a kidney biopsy and should not be afraid of going ahead with the kidney biopsy because it is a gold standard uh, diagnostic test and this will tell us about what kind of nephritis you are having and will help us in treating it and this disease in most of the cases is reversible and uh, once we give the treatment there are high chances that you will not require dialysis or kidney transplant apart from these conditions if a person is already having kidney disease and has progressed to requirement requiring dialysis or uh, is doing dialysis regularly if they are having any problems with dialysis 
we we can help them in sorting out their uh, problems in dialysis they have we have seen patients who are having problem in ex- making of access for the dialysis we can help them in uh, getting them av fistula av grafts or even a pama cath insertion on whom we are getting this difficulties plus we have active program of peritoneal dialysis which is a dialysis which can be done at home it's also called as kind of a water dialysis it can be done at home and we can train you for this kind of dialysis and you have to just follow up once in a month so you don't have to go to hospital every two or three days where the blood dialysis is required so these are the two options that we have so if you have any queries or questions regarding kidney transplant dialysis kidney disease stones urinary tract infections or any of uh, questions related to kidney please feel free to contact us the email address of our uh, international marketing team will be displayed after my message thank you